Hello. Uh, we are on the grounds of uh, Mount Mares Manresa. And uh, these are possibly old growth tulip trees we're looking at. They're certainly at least a century old, probably more. And there's a sign here and uh, some kind of religious statue. Uh, uh, I guess it's a female angel with a sword. <laughs> I don't know which one. And uh, this is this is the on the left. You say is the mansion. Well, the mansion used to be there, but that was knocked down. Uh, and okay. That, this, this, this is this is Jack, who's working to save Mount Manresa. Say hello to the folks in the audience. I'm saying hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Okay, and how many acres is this? This is uh, disputed between 10 and 15 acres. Between 10 and 15, uh, okay, what do you mean it's disputed? Uh, we we don't a, know how many acres? There's a controversy, acre? yeah, on the, on the actual amount. Huh. But it's all natural landscape going back, never altered, never farmed. Oh, uh, let's walk up here. Two, two, two. This is actually the eastern border of the property. This is the eastern border? Right. Fingerboard Road is down here. That used to be an Indian trail. Fingerboard. Native American trail. Okay. Which is down here. And there's the Verrazano Bridge. Ah, there's the Verrazano Bridge. Yeah. Sticking out over the over buildings there. I see it. Yeah. And over here, too, Alex. Oh, uh, and there's a... Okay. That's the tower near us. Okay. Okay, and then over here you scan. It's getting a little dark, so it might be hard to s see everything here now. Yeah. Okay. The property as you can scan it down the distance is the front. <laughs> where that cuckoo is, right past that was where the mansion used to be. Okay, this gazebo here? Yeah, that mansion was built in the mid 1800s. Uh huh. There's some lovely trees here. Look at yeah. this one. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Ah. And there's some big ones down here. Old tulip. Yeah. Well, the birds certainly seem to like the trees here. Yes. <laughs> so what, what part of Staten Island is this in? Fort Wadsworth. Fort Wadsworth. And... This was maintained as a retreat by the Jesuits. Since 1911. Since 1911. And prior to that, it was uh, a state owned by a businessman from the mid 19th century. And before that, it was a state's going back into the 1700s and late 1600s. Late so, 1600s, so that would have been during the Dutch period, maybe? Right. Yeah, really? Like Dutch and English. Huh. And the land was never farmed, it was used basically for hunting grounds. Okay. Uh -huh. These are called tulip trees. There's two, two trees over here. Uh huh. These are, these are tulip trees. They're tulip native, trees. They're native to uh, the New York City area before the uh, the Europeans arrived. I know they have similar trees in uh, Philadelphia. I've seen them. Yeah. They seem to, uh, they they grow in uh, these mid-Atlantic states. Right. Yeah. They're native trees. They're not uh -huh. from Europe. And this is an old, this is a religious building down here. Well, that was um, uh, a guardhouse originally, I'm sure. Something, yeah. When they had an estate here. Well, you yeah. could scan this way. Was this, this was probably gated at one time, no? I don't know if it's gated, but yeah. now we could go towards the back. Okay. All right. These are some big trees over here to the left. Uh huh. And this is another tulip tree right in front of us, where the lamppost is, straight in front of us. Imposing, isn't it? Yes. 
Okay. And that's an old chapel that the Jesuits built, probably about 1915 or so. Okay. All right. And this is the retreat house to the right and in front of us. It's the oldest, it's the oldest retreat in America. What, this? This is right here in front of us. Oh, okay. The oldest retreat in America? Yes. Huh. And it has a very park-like setting, as you can see. Well, if the uh, Jesuits want to sell this, I can certainly see how this could be easily turned into parkland. You see the trees in here? Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go this way. So, that's the cafeteria, and uh, that's the administration building. That's the cafeteria here? Administration building. That's a, a nice looking modern building. Yeah, that was built. Uh huh. So we could walk down here, walk in the back, and we'll go up. We'll go up to the hillside. Okay. Let's take this a little staircase here. is a residence home because people come to stay. Okay. When people come to visit and have a retreat here, this is where they stay in these buildings. All right. And can people visit here just for a day or you have to make a commitment I, for I, uh, I, I think, several days? I think you probably stay for a day. Have, it all depends on how you can uh, okay. make arrangements with them. Usually for a weekend or a week, people come. Okay. Well, we can't go inside, but... Uh, See if we can. Can't really see too much inside. It's too dark. <laughs> That's a very nice tree uh, under which there's some uh, picnic tables. You do have, unfortunately, uh, a highway nearby. Yeah. Is that the exit from the bridge? Is that what that is? Yes. Ah. Uh, look over here. You got the scan this. Now, if I was redesigning this from scratch, I would reroute that highway <laughs> to move it like at least half a mile away from here. Don't forget when this retreat was started <laughs> in 1911, there was no highway. That's true. Yeah. So even back in 1911, the uh, people who were supposed to be guarding our natural environment were falling down on the job. That's too bad. Nevertheless, there still seems to be a lot so, to be saved so here. So right over there was, was where the mansion house was. Right here? Uh, no, over there. You see between that cupola and that new building? Right there. Oh, uh, okay. Right and there. That was torn down in the early 1960s. It was built around 1860. Uh-huh. And then prior to that, this land was basically hunting grounds, never farmed. Mm-hmm. Never really altered. It's the natural contour. Well, it's, uh, it looks like it was designed by a... Uh, a nature. Uh, a, na a great landscaper. <laughs> but actually, it wasn't designed. It was... <laughs> this was it's pretty cool. This was a natural terrain. Now Look at this, this. This, of course, was built in the 1920s, this area. Yeah, yeah, and I can tell. But where we're going to go now is... There's a little... Into the hillside. A little, little hill here. Okay. This hill, by the way, is called the Terminal Moraine. It was formed during the Ice Age, 20,000 years ago. Uh huh. That came from Canada, retreated and deposited all debris in the front of the glacier. Uh huh. And the landscape is all natural. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this video on YouTube, and then you can show it to people who may not be able to make it down here themselves. Right, that's where they can see it. Yeah. All right. And the plan is by the builder. And this is like the back parking area, I guess. The back the parking area for the retreat. For the retreat, yeah, okay. Right. 
but the land we're walking on now is all natural land. Uh, okay. We're going to the high point. This is a lovely moss colored tree here. Missing a couple of branches, I guess, from lightning storms or something. Right. <laughs> and this is the steps and wall from when the, from the 19th century. Uh huh. Uh huh. That leads up to the summit. Uh, let's go to the summit. And then we're going to come back down as well. Yeah. Okay. Stand over here. This is the view down. Okay. It's getting too dark so in that direction. Move along more quickly. It's still okay in this direction. The ideal time to come would have been like a Saturday morning, really, where the sun's out bright. Well, this is still okay. I mean, it's. Uh, if I point in the right direction, it's still very pretty. Okay, these are these old stairs, and we're approaching the summit. Wow, this is lovely. Wow. And this is one of the highest points on the Terminal Marine. Really? The Ice Age Glacier. Oh. So I think the the water is that way, right? Yes, the ocean's directly beyond these My trees. My guess is that in the winter when there's no leaves on the trees, you could probably see the yeah, water. If we walk to the edge here, we, we can see the highway. You can see New Jersey. Yeah. And to the right, you'll be able to see New York Harbor. Uh-huh. Okay. These are pines that were planted probably 50, 50, 60 years ago or so. Maybe longer. It's a really lovely spot. Oh. And quite secluded, there's nobody here. <laughs> yeah. And you can see the uh, sun setting right there in front. You can see the red redness in the sky. There's the sunset. There's the sun setting. I know from the distance is New Jersey, but it's cloudy and hazy. It's okay. Off, it's off there beyond those trees. Yeah, yeah. So if it wasn't cloudy, we'd be able to see the you'd water. Be able, you'd be able to see the water in New Jersey. Right? Yeah. And you can see the height rack because you're looking down at the highway. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's a shame the highway is here, but uh, yeah. that's a mistake made many decades ago. <laughs> yeah. Still a lovely, lovely spot. Well worth preserving. And the next stop, stop we're going to go down this hill a little bit. We're going to go into the wooded area where there's a lot of old growth forest. Oh, okay, wow. We're going to see that. I hope we could, we could do it before the sun goes in. And is this a path that goes down? That goes down to the highway. Goes down to the highway. Wow. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's go this let's let's hurry up before it gets too dark to film anything. <laughs> Okay, there's a tree that fell over, maybe uh, recently, I don't know. Yeah, during the storm probably. When this, is, this is from Hurricane Sandy, you think? Uh, yeah. Could be, yeah. Some of these very tall trees have very fragile see, root systems. You can see Manhattan from here. In oh, the yes. Uh, I don't think it'll come out on the video, but I can see it, yeah. You can see the Manhattan skyline. Yeah. The yeah, you can. And there's New York Harbor. Wow, pretty cool. So when the leaves are off the trees, you have a better view, but yeah, you can see the height that we're at. That's pretty high, yeah. <laughs> so 
and you can see the woodlands in front of us, uh -huh. which we're going to be going into soon. I hope it stays light enough. Well, you want to scan here? You can see it. Yeah. Well, we have five more minutes of viewing because uh, YouTube will only let you put 20, okay. minute, 20 minutes up at a time, and okay. we got less than five minutes left. Okay, the really good stuff is down here, though. Okay. The re well, I could always do another video, but it's going to get too dark soon. Let's scan down here. You can see the wooded area here. Uh huh. This is all going to be destroyed once the builder gets in here. Oh my god. And we can go through here. We have to stop that. Absolutely. Walk down this trail. Okay. And if you look up, you can scan up. See the heights of these trees. Very pretty trail. And so these are old tulips and oak trees. Okay. Jack, why don't you uh, hold this so that people can see who, what I look like for a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, this, this is Alex. Okay, now you Still see me. me. I'll continue. You want me to scan it? No, I'll continue. I just, uh, some of the people that there might be curious. Ah, yes. Okay. okay. Let's go down into the bowels of this forest. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's... You see the giant tulip tree? Yeah, wow. This is all going to be taken down. That's amazing. Can you see it up from here? Yeah. Here. Now we're going to go down to see the grotto. You can hear the birds. Yeah, yeah. This is an example, by the way, of... Uh, Want to scan this? Yeah. Of how commerce... The laws of commerce are so con contrary to the laws of humanity. Can we go this way? And nature. Want me to do this one, man? What there's kind, a, of, what kind a huge, of... There's a huge tree right What here. kind of a person would want to destroy a landscape like this? To make a few bucks. And they're gonna make a few bucks. <laughs> well, I'm sure they will. Yes. Now you're going down a steep. This is the Ice Age Hill. You're going down. Okay, we're going down a pretty steep trail, so I have to be careful so that I don't fall over. Uh. Very nice. I'll, I'll stand this. Some more fallen trees uh, from the storm, and you got some blooming bushes here. Alex, you're right here. Look at the tree. The size of the tree. Uh, Stand up. Uh, is that tree still alive? Yeah, yeah it, it still is. is. It's hanging, stand, it's hanging to, on. <laughs> stand up to the top, Alex. <laughs> it's hanging on. It's lost a lot of limbs, but it's still hanging on. That's an old tulip tree. Huh. Okay, and we're coming to a grotto here. Wow, look at this. Ah, uh, that's really nice. Is there an entrance to go yeah, in there? Go I guess there is. Oh, very pretty. You could scan right up the trees, Alex. If this became a park, I would certainly want to keep this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's the entrance is down there. And, and these three old trees right here in front of us. Uh huh. You can scan up. The uh, down. Okay. And down here. And let's go down. And there's another path going up back up the hill. You can scan up this way. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm back up another side of that hill. Okay, watch it coming down here. It's a little slippery. Okay. I see you almost slipped, and I almost slipped too. And my 20 minute YouTube quota is almost up. Okay, let's take a quick look here, and then we'll take a scan of the valley. Let's go up. Okay, that's it. 
Watch out those scanned valleys.